Welcome back everyone, it's Fnusa57 here. I am back on the Xbox One on the game Fallout 76, and today I will be showing you how to get the best non-legendary rifle in the game. This is also known as the Brotherhood Recon Rifle, and, well, unfortunately, as some of you may know, there are not any legendary hunting rifles in the game just yet. So if you wish to use a rifle build, especially one that is based off a of semi-automatic or bolt-action weapons, then you're going to be looking for a really good rifle if you don't want to have to rely on RNG. Now for me, that is going to be the Brotherhood Recon Rifle, the one that I have out. And as you can see, this is not the base gun. This is heavily modified, but it is classed as a normal hunting rifle just extremely upgraded it's also easy to get and craftable for almost any level great for giving to friends and great for alts uh, with this particular receiver on it you can see i do 144 damage per shot and it also has a massive condition bar so if i go and look at it you'll notice as far as stats go it has a critical 50 receiver and a lined long barrel a precise stock a stinging magazine and the reflex sight, just a regular red dot sight with the suppressor attachment. Now it comes with most of those items, which is what makes the Brotherhood Recon Rifle so good, but it does not have those exact attachments on it. Anyways, to get to the meat and potatoes of things, this rifle is a reward of part of the Brotherhood of Steel quest line. Now, that quest line can take you a minute and be a little bit annoying, but you're going to get this weapon here at Fort Defiance. It's relatively easy to miss, but you do get the schematic to craft it if you pay attention. So the very first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to join the military. That's done at Camp uh, McClintlock or whatever. Once you do that, you're going to have a quest that you'll find after you discover Camp Venture to figure out what happened to the Brotherhood of Steel, and it's going to tell you to go to Fort Defiance. Once you unlock Fort Defiance down here, just on the edge of Cranberry Bog, eventually you're going to get a quest that to get past the lasers, and that's going to have you get a military ID. Now that ID is going to take you back to the Charleston Capitol building and you're going to have to go through the DMV and back to the courthouse and back to the DMV and find some junk mail and it's a real pain in the ass. But if you get that quest done, you'll eventually come back with your ID to complete the main line quest for the Brotherhood of Steel. Now, but once you have that ID and you come back to Fort Defiance, you're going to go right in here hopefully there is not a line in the sand event unfortunately because this event is glitched 90 percent of the time there's probably going to be a line in the sand event when you get here uh, just skip it make your way past the enemies kill them crouch stealth whatever you desire you'll notice this weapon has extremely good accuracy as long as you actually wait for the vats to pop up if you want to use it in vats. If you don't want to use it in vats, that's up to you as well. Uh, for some enemies that are hiding behind walls or uh, things like that, using vats is actually harder than just aiming down the sights. But I like this weapon a lot. It does even more damage if you put a prime receiver on it. Or, of course, if you left it in 308. So, for the quest, you're going to have to use this terminal. And then you're going to go inside. Now, most people skip this little terminal right here. And this is the artillery battery terminal. If you press A on it and unlock it with your military ID, you're going to have this screen. And then you're also going to have another screen to download the schematic or another option to download the schematic. If you download the schematic, click that second option, you'll notice it pops up and it'll tell you that you have the ability to craft the Brotherhood Recon Rifle. Now that is literally just 
the schematic. You don't get the actual weapon, so now you have to go craft it. That can be done at literally any weapon workbench. But that little terminal right there is the terminal that nearly everybody misses, and that is the terminal that gives you the schematic to craft the Brotherhood Recon Rifle. So I'm going to go ahead and travel back to my base and show you how this weapon can be crafted and what attachments the base weapon has on it. It's a super simple quest to get. It's just very easily missed. And until they bring out a legendary hunting rifle, this will be the best hunting rifle or hunting rifle type weapon in the game. The main advantage to using the Brotherhood Recon Rifle or to crafting it is due to the fact it has everything on it already. So if you don't have the attachments for a normal hunting rifle or if you don't have the materials to add the attachments to your hunting rifle or anything of that nature, well, you can simply get one this way, but this one's better. And of course, you can put all the different receivers on it, depending on what receivers you have unlocked for the normal short hunting rifle, which by the point in the game where you're doing the Brotherhood of Steel quest line, you probably have a lot of attachments unlocked in the game. It will be under the classification of machined guns, and it'll be right there, the Brotherhood Recon Rifle, which can be crafted at any level between uh, five, basically, five level increments, level one, level five, then it jumps to level 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So even at level one, which is the most basic of all of the levels, and I did farm a shit ton of resources, so I don't mind really crafting these right now, but that's why I'm overweight. So this is a brand new level one rifle. It's still chambered in 308. It does 92 damage for me per shot with the rifleman cards. It does have a very low condition bar on it, but if we look at the items that are on there, it already has the hardened receiver, it already has a stabilized long barrel, it already has an aligned stock, it already has the stinging magazine, it has a short recon scope, and it already has a suppressor. So it is fully modified, plus you can get it basically at any level you want, and then you can go ahead and pass it around to other characters to friends give it to a random person whatever you want the only drawback to this weapon is the fact that it weighs 13 plus pounds so like every hunting rifle this is a very heavy weapon and i'm not a super big fan of scopes the recon scope is nice because it does give you kind of a night vision approach so it is better in darker environments Plus, if I can find a little enemy here, which there should be some ticks, I'll go ahead and show you as soon as I find one. It puts a little dot above them so that uh, you can kind of keep track of the enemy, even if the enemy is to move behind a obstacle. That is because of the recon scope. And then obviously it would gain the damage benefit from being a suppressed weapon. It also has one more benefit, and that recon scope is used in the event that pops up uh, Distant Thunder. You use this type of scope on any weapon to actually mark the targets for the artillery strike. Sadly, this does not work with artillery from your base, and sadly, you do still have scope sway with the recon scope, which is why I don't use it, and I merely use the red dot instead. So this is the base rifle, and then this is the, uh, if I can actually equip it, there we go. This is the heavily modified version. So this version is the one that I prefer, uh, simply because I don't like that recon optic. But if you want the recon optic, you can go ahead and use it. It's completely up to you, or you could put any other optic that you want on there if you have them unlocked. If you have any questions, feel free to message me, and I will be making a video going over the legendary weapons if you happen to be looking for a legendary weapon, as well as we'll cover, hopefully at some point, 
the release of legendary hunting rifles into the game or hunting rifles with legendary effects. So let me know if the video was helpful. If you have any questions or uh, need any help, just post a comment and I'll uh, be happy to help out. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it and share it as that greatly helps out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. And until next time, remember to subscribe for more content and stay frosty.